Okay, in this video, we will uh, play with polynomials. We will want expand. We will also divide by polynomials. And we will also factor. So the first thing we're going to do is expand. So we have x minus 5 uh, times parentheses 3x plus 3. And so whenever we expand, we take this x and we multiply by each component. So times 3x plus um, x times the 3. Uh, minus, or actually you can say plus, plus we have negative 5. So minus 5 times 3x plus minus 5 times 3. So we have x is being distributed here and here. Uh, 5 is going to be distributed here and here. So not too complicated. So then we, uh, we multiply. So we get, this would become a 3x squared. And this would get plus 3x. And here we get minus 15x. And here we get negative 15. And now we group. There's not much grouping involved in this problem. The only thing we can group is uh, 3x and minus 15x. And so our final answer will be 3x squared minus 12x minus 15, like this. And we can simply box in our answer. And that's all we need to do for this expanding. The next problem we want to is uh, divide this polynomial by x minus 4. So let's write it out. So we have x minus 4. And we want to divide uh, 2x squared minus 4x minus 16. So whenever we do like long division, we take the uh, first term. First term is uh, 2x squared. And we look here. How can we get 2x squared? The only way we can get 2x squared is if we multiply by 2x by this. So we will write 2x. And that means we did 2x times x is a uh, 2x squared, uh, 2x times negative 4x is negative 8x squared. And what we do is we take the uh, opposite. So in, this is positive, we take negative. So this would become negative and this would become positive. And so we're, we're just canceling out terms. So 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. Negative 4x plus 8x is uh, plus 4x. And we bring down the negative 16. So minus 16. So we do the exact same thing. How can we get 4x? Uh, we can get 4x by multiplying this by 4. So it would be plus 4. So four, this would be a 4x. Uh, negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. And we do the exact same thing. We would take the opposite. So minus 4x plus 16. And so this would be 0, 0. So no remainder. So this final answer would be 2x plus 4. And we can even check. If we were to multiply 2x plus 4 times x minus 4, we would in fact get uh, 2x squared minus 4x minus 16. And if you want, you can go ahead and try it. OK, so finally, we want to factor out these two problems. So x squared minus x minus 12 is the uh, first one. And in order to do this, we need to come up with uh, a way to get two numbers that when we multiply them, we would get negative 12. This, negative 12. So we want two numbers. When we multiply, we would get negative 12. And the other thing is we want two numbers that when we add them, they would be negative 1. This. And so just thinking about it, we know that negative 4 and 3 would satisfy this. And so our answer for this first one, x squared minus x minus 12, would be x minus 4 parentheses times x plus 3. This is because we had negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Uh, we have 3 times x is 3x, minus 4 times x is negative x. And so this would be the answer. And the next problem is a little bit more trickier because um, x squared has a 10 constant. So the addition step is a little bit more uh, trickier. And so the 10 itself, 
the first thing we're going to do is factor out the 10. So there's two ways to get 10. We can do 1 times 10 is 10, and we can also do 2 times 5 is also 10. And uh, just setting it up, we would get x plus a number times 10x plus a number. This would be this attempt. The other attempt would be 2x plus a number times 5x plus a number, the uh, second attempt. And so what we want to do is also to get 15. 15, there's no, no real changes. It can either be 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. And so what we're going to do essentially is plug in 1, 15, 15, 1, also uh, 3, 5, 5, 3 for both of these problems. And what we want to do is get 31x. So which method would allow us to get 31x? And so with practice, this will become more obvious, but it will be 2x plus 5, parentheses, uh, 5x plus 3. And so we can quickly check. 2x times 3 is 6x. 5x times 5 is 25x. 25x plus 6x is 31x. 5 times 3 is 15. And 2x times 5x is 10x squared. And so this would be the answer to that problem. And that's about it.